There is a story that talks about a turtle, commonly referred to as the world turtle, to be carrying the world we live in on its shell. Interestingly, this is not a legend that was found in one mythology, but in many, such as Hindu, Chinese, and the mythologies of the Native Americans. But it is important to notice that even though all these mythologies talk about the existence of the world turtle, the appearance of it in legends, and the contribution it offers to the existence of the world is different. The Iroquoian tribe, who is a native North American tribe, tells in their legends that in the beginning, there was only sky and water. In the sky sphere lived the immortal deities, all sky people, as some legends claim, and in water sphere lived giant animals. The sky sphere had floating islands on which the sky people lived. One of the trees on the floating island fell and formed a huge hole on the land. Adahensik, who was an Iroquois sky goddess, fell through this hole into the water sphere. Some water birds saw the sky woman falling, so before she hit the water, the birds rescued her and brought her before other animals. There was no place Adahensik could rest because there was no land. A giant turtle appeared from the water mass and offered to become the land. So animals dived into the depths of the water and took out mud and spread it on the shell of the tortoise. Soon the mud started to pile up and became the land. Adahensik was then welcomed to the land by the animals. She used dust to create stars in the night sky as gratitude for all the animals. Adahensik was pregnant at the time she fell from the sky, and on the back of the tortoise, she gave birth to Earth Mother. The Earth Mother created trees and all life on land. She died as she gave birth to twin sons Hagwe Diyu and Hagwe Detga. Hagwe Diyu became a god of goodness and light, as well as a creator god. But Hagwe Detga became the god of evil. As for a Californian tribe, the land rests on not one turtle but six. In the beginning there was no land but water, and the creatures who lived in water. The Creator God was not pleased with his creation and wanted to create land. Just then a giant tortoise emerged from the water and stood before him. The Creator God was pleased by its presence and decided to build the land he wishes on its shell. But one turtle was not enough, so he ordered the turtle to bring his brothers as well. In six days, the turtle was able to bring six of his brothers before the Creator God. The seven turtles agreed to carry the land on their backs, so the Creator God brought soil from the depths of the ocean and spread it on the shells of the seven turtles. Soon the backs of the turtles became the land. The God created life on land, and he was pleased. Soon the land became heavier for the turtles, and they began to move and so the earth began to tremble. This was the first earthquake that happened. The Creator God heard the tremble, so he appeared before the turtles. He explained to them that they should stay still, or the creation would fall apart. The turtles agreed and decided to stay still. But sometimes they become so tired, and when they moor by the slightest inch, the earth shakes and cause earthquakes. Chinese legends name the world turtle as Ao. Ao was a giant marine turtle lived in the South China Sea. The world was created by gods, and they rest the heavens on four pillars. After the world was created, a war broke out between Gong Gong, the water god, and Zurong, the god of fire. Zurong defeated the water god in the battle. Unable to accept his defeat, Gong Gong deliberately banged his head onto Mount Buju. Mount Buju was the northwest pillar which supports the heavens. Because of the bang, half of the sky was destroyed, creating a huge hole in the heavens. The earth was also cracked, and the axis was tilted into the southeast, while the sky rose into the northwest. This is said to be the reason why the western region of China is higher than the eastern, and that most of its rivers flow towards the southeast. Nuwa, 
The mother goddess saw the creation being destroyed, so she decided to repair the sky. She gathered colored stones, red, yellow, blue, black, and white from the riverbed, melted them and used them to patch up the sky. This explains the reason for the colorful clouds in the sky. She then killed the giant turtle Ao, cut off the four legs of the creature, to use as new pillars to support the sky. Because the unequal length of the legs, it made the sky tilt. According to Hindu mythology, the most widespread name given to the world tortoise is Akupara. Also some texts mention the turtle as Kurma or Kurmaraja. The Shatapatha Brahmana is the earliest text to mention about Kurma. According to this text Kurma is the creator of all creatures. It identifies the earth as lower shell of the tortoise, the atmosphere as its body and the vault of heaven as its upper shell. The text mentions Kurma as an avatar of the creator god Prajapati. After giving birth to the creation, the god took the form of a tortoise and held the creation by himself. Another story identifies the tortoise as god Vishnu. Kurma is listed as the second Dashavatara, which are the ten principal incarnations of Vishnu. In the text Mahabharata, Book 12, Chapter 340, God Vishnu states these ten incarnations as appearing in the forms of Hamsa, Kurma, Matsya. O foremost of regenerate ones, I shall then display myself as Vaaha, then as Anrisinga, then as Vimana, then as Rama of Brigu's race, then as Rama, the son of Dasarata, then as Krishna the sign of the Satwata race, and lastly as Kalki. Shesha, the king of all serpents who is also a primordial creation, coiled in space, or on the universal ocean, to form a bed. He then offered the bed to Vishnu to rest. On his hood Shesha holds all the planets and stars of the universe, and constantly sings the glories of Vishnu, so the god could rest comfortably. Not only Shesha helps Vishnu to rest, but also stabilize the earth by holding Vishnu still and protecting him with his hood. Some other stories and depictions illustrate the existence of four elephants on the shell of the world tortoise, and the earth rests on the elephants. These four elephants represent the four cardinal directions. It is interesting to see, the turtle has been adopted as creature that supports the earth, even though different mythologies describe its role differently. What do you think of this story? Let me know your thoughts in the comments. Thank you so much my Patreon and subscribers for your amazing support. If haven't already and if you'd like to support my channel, you can do so by being a Patreon, a YouTube member, and a subscriber. Hope you enjoyed the video, and I'll see you again in another story to tell.